Man, I'm sick of all these silly thugs talking shit, roaming around selling drugs to the kids on the street. Trying to pull some dollars quick, don't give a shit till there's some poor dead kid laying in the street. Poor kid couldn't breathe, can't take this shiv. What the fuck is this shit? It's all good, just trying to sell another brick. Destroying the youth, you dumb fucking pricks, look at you. So I wanna have a gun? Uh, yeah, almost. Ah, yeah. Baba! Baba! Yeah, you want to see me? You want to see me? You want to see First of all, I want to give all honors and glory to Yahweh, Ha, Yaha, Waki Nui, Waki Roa, Waki Pama Mau, and two, Yahweh, Ha, Yaha. Yeah. All praises to the most high. Mighty man. Waka Kai Tani Fa. This is the last campaign Kai Koi. So yeah, all praises to the most high power. Yahawa. Ha. Yahawa. Now, we've got some special guests right here. He's our family from around here. And, um, you know, everyone's going through difficult times right now. We know that. Everyone has struggles as well. We're from the gutter. We know where we're from. So, what we're trying to do is get right and help each other get right. And where does it start this war that these damn white people have put on our people? This war starts in the home with the couples and the families. And what they do is make it hard on the man. They give everything to the woman. And then it makes the woman think that the man ain't shit. And that's the truth. Because the man ain't shit. Not around here. Not when we've been conquered and oppressed by these damn red skin devils. So that's why we're out here every week to prophesy the downfall to this wicked ass nation, to cut 24 hours here, to make this wicked oppression of my people stop by showing the mighty men of the Lord of Hawaii Nui, Hawaii Noah, Hawaii Pama Mo, with super intelligence that know what's going on. We're out here to wake them up and we're in Kai Kai Kai. The, the home of the mightiest lion that sits on the planet. We're here to wake them up and tell them why the fuck everything is fucked up in our homes and in our households. And it starts with the devil. First and foremost, the devil who's ruling us. We call him a devil. Devil means a great deceiver. He's a lying, scary bastard. Hairy devil from the caves of the cold Caucasus mountains. Known as the Caucasian. Now these people rule us. And we come from the gutter. And from the gutter, we gotta accept that we ain't shit. We got no power here as men. The power is in our woman. Because those damn red skin devils love our woman. They wanna root our woman. They wanna make our woman be ours. They wanna take our woman off us. And that's the truth. And they make our woman change on our men. You gotta stop looking at our men like we're nothing. We start from the gutter. Remember who we are. We've been conquered. And no matter what, we're always gonna be fucked up. When someone else is bullying us. We try everything in this planet to try and get ourselves better. Nothing helps us. So we're here with that medicine, with that great cry of Maui Tiki Tiki like our father. From Hawaii Nui, Hawaii Loa, Hawaii Pama Mau. And he gave us the great mouthpiece to fight with our words and our passion. And that's the gift I've got to give to my people. And this knowledge I give to my brothers and my brothers and my sisters. 
It's for our children. So, love one another, my sisters, my brothers. Stop warring against each other. The world's not with each other. Someone fucked them up. Someone fucked us up. Someone's educating us with nothing. We have white privilege, well, not our privilege. So you've got to understand that, that the war starts at home. We ain't shit from the beginning. And no matter how hard we men, we Maori men try, a fucking woman haven't got our back. And our women, our whalers, you meant to wail our hair like what I'm doing. Telling our, telling our men to fight against these red skin devils. Every shop is owned by someone else. We are in the gutter while they walk past in heaven. So, first and foremost, I'm gonna tell our woman what's good. As a mighty man of the Lord, as your fathers, as your brothers, as your uncles, as your cousins, as a mighty man of Hawaii. Our women need to start respecting our men and understanding that we've never been anything at the start. We know we're something in here. But this world is against us. They hate your men. They hate us. They don't love us. We're gonna bring that out the scripts. Everything we say is the truth. In this fire, we'll jump onto you. We'll jump onto you first. You're gonna love your husband, because he's your king and it will get him right. Make him a king and make him a god that he is. And make the whole world know that our men are the gods on this earth. Our women are gonna sing songs after we speak. Fire this burn this shit down. We fiery, we fiery hood motherfuckers from the gutter. Use this fire to wake each other up. To grab hold of each other and say, I got your back, my home. I got your back, my home. That's the real talk. Real talk. And I'm just gonna tell you the truth, cuz. That's how I help. I'll tell you the truth. You need to help him. He'll be a mean warrior because he's the best on earth. But someone else hates him. Got that? First John 215. world that's ruling over us, don't love it. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. All the shit that is in this world, don't love it. Love your man first, love each other first. Read. If any man love the world, if any man loves this world, the, uh, the love of the father is not in him. The love of the father is not in him. You need to be a father. If you love your, your children, let's conquer this damn world. <sighs> Read it again. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. John 7 and 7. This is John 7, chapter, um, chapter 7, verse 7. Read. The world cannot hate you. The world can't hate you. You. The world can't hate you. Read. But it, uh, but me, it hates It hates me. It hates us men. Let's read that again. The world cannot hate you. The world cannot hate you. But me, it, uh, it hateth. But who hateth? But me, it hateth. The world hates me. The world hates men. 
as men, as mighty men of the Lord, as mighty men of Waki, as mighty men of Otero, as mighty men of Ikaro, as mighty men. The world hates us. Read John 10 and 22. Because I testify of it. Now we're talking against it. Read that the works thereof are evil. Their fucking works are evil. Look at this. This fellow impressed us. He's one of the people who conquered us and he's still walking around free. Read, read it again. The world cannot hate you. The world doesn't hate um, hate you. The woman, read. But me and hate it. But he and hate it. Because I testify of it. Because we're the ones who stand against it. We hate this world. We don't want to learn their shit and walk their ways. Read. That the works of thereof are evil. Their works are too evil for us to do. Read. John chapter 10 verse 22. Read. These words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. Matthew 22. Matthew 22. Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men. What's that? And ye shall be hated of all men. All these people hate us. Read it one more time for these damn Daniels walking on our funeral. Read. And ye shall be hated of all men. Of all men. They hate us. Understand that, sis? They hate your men. Read. For well, my name's Satan. Because we carry the name of We're the only race on the planet that can carry the name of Hawaii. The true name of Christ. Can you get um, Isaiah 1, 1 and 3? Read. One more time. Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 22. Read. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Read. But he that endureth to the end. Now we, we men need to endure this damn oppression. We're going to win this war soon. We're going to win this war, I promise. Read. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Saved from who? Saved from the damn oppressor. None of this magic salvation. That's right. Real salvation is when we're saved from those who oppressed us, robbed us, raped us, took our intelligence away from us, made us go to sleep, made us turn to wickedness. Yeah. We're going to be saved from them, meaning we're going to overthrow them. Put them into slavery. Put them into captivity. See how you can endure. Read that, my brother. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master's club. Even, two, even two dumb animals know where they're from. But read. But Israel doth not know. But Ikara, you don't even know where you're from and what you are, who you are. The brother doesn't even know that he's a god. Nobody told that before. Nobody's ever said that to him before. He's a god. Read that one more time. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crew. Psalms 83. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. We don't even care. Because we love it. We love it down there. Down in the gutter. Because it feels safe. I really know what it's doing is robbing us from our bloody thriving in the home. Making multiple children. The brother with the brothers. The sister with the children and the sisters. That's how it's meant to be. Me and my brother. You know how it is. The true happiness is best shared together. Happiness sucks when you're alone. It's best when you're together. Psalm 33, verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Thank God. They keep silence anymore, bro. It's time to rule like a lion. Read. Hold not thy peace. Don't be peaceful to these damn oppressors no more. Read. And be not still. No more being still, my friend. It's time to get into action, get into order. You're a man of action, you're a God. Read. And be not still, O God. Be not still, O God. No more. Read. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Your damn enemies, our enemies have made an angry gathering, a tumult, read. And they that have hated thee have lifted up their head. And those that hate you have lifted up their head, bro. They're walking around here proud now, huh? 
Huh? Reed, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They've taken crafty counsel against you, my bro, Reed. And consulted against thy hidden ones. With the hidden ones, bro, push them to the gutter, Reed. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. They've said, come, and let's cut us off. We're no longer a nation anymore, brother. We're the greatest nation on earth, and we're no longer a anymore. Reed, that the name of Ikaro that may be no more in remembrance. That the what? That the name of Ikaro may be no more in remembrance. Bro, right, that's why you don't even remember that your nationality is Ikaro. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. These cunts have gathered together with one consent. They all agree together, brother. Read. They are confederate against thee. They confederate against you, my bro, and us. Right. Read. The Turbanakas of Edom. This is the white man, read. And the Ishmaelites, the damn Muslims, read. And the Moabites, the damn Samoans, even against you. And the Hagarines, the Hagarines, the Africans against you. Jabal, even the Russians against you. And Ammon, Ammon, bro, that's down my money, bro, read. And Amalek, Amalek, they stand Jewish, read. The Philistines, the Philistines, bro, that we always try and help. They, 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 it's you too, it's all a show, read. With the inhabitants of Tyree, even those damn mafians against you, my bro, read. Assar is also joined with even them. The Irish armies against us, my bro, read. They have helped the children of Lot. They have helped the children of Lot, my brother, who's Tongaro, or the children of Tongaro's children against us, read. Salah. Salah means Pono, straight up, my brother. This is what's going down in the background of the. This is the great war that we don't even know about. Yet there's a whole group of nations against us. To let in us up. Yeah? To want us to be like that, brother. This is their code. This is their code. This is their code to break you up. This is the code, brother. When you're the God on earth. The bro knows, he knows. He's rebelling against them, bro. Yeah, the best way he can. Make people don't want to come to our towns anymore, eh, brother? So, go to uh, Psalms 82, verse 6, my bro. Let's tell him what the most I said. Because you got to know this, this is this hard and fast fire for you, my bro. To get your house in order. Psalms 82, verse 6. I have said. Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. What is that? What is the prayer? I have said, ye are gods. What are you? God. Ye are gods. You're God, my brother. You're going to act like one and be like one and know you're one. And it makes life and everything become easier because in your mind it instantly thinks, fuck, I'm a god. I walk through the shadow of the darkest buildings, my brother. I've come from the third and he survived it. Now it's time to go and survive how to um, rule businesses and, 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 and get these oppressors, and oppressors out of power. It's like a level another game, but it's just a level up. And it helps you, and it helps all of us, my group. We want you in the mansions. Yeah, we want you with all the boys. That's right. We want all the boys got each other's back, trusting one another, and know that we got an enemy group that's bigger than us. So let's, let's unite in many teams. Bring, but the teams are together. We're just one team. Everyone can do it, but we're the main team for the voice of the most high power. Read yeah. that one more time. Psalms 82, verse 6. Come on, brother. I have said, Ye are gods, okay. and all of you are children of the most high. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. We want to fall like a prince, my brother. A prince rides into battle. So we want to fall, bro. We don't want to fall down in the gutter and get and people walking around with our names. Nah, bro. We want a big statue put up. Oh, monuments built for us. Yeah, so our Tamariki remember their father. See it, and then they'll go, look at my father. Yeah, and that's how we want our men to be remembered for every one of us, my bro. Because yo, me and I and I, we're from the same hapu. We're from the same puna. Same two puna. Same waka, but we're on Tiki on Maui now. And it's easy, it's simple. Just kick it with each other more. That's the trick, that's the key. And they, they just share each other. They, we can do business, the same business as we got, you know. Can we work the same? But first, we gotta understand that the battle starts at the household. Ephesians 5.22 And can you get um, Ephesians 
a speed of three one. Because we want you to know what the most high, but the, the most high is our, our God and our God only. This is our, this is our temple now. This is First Peter chapter three verse one. Listen to this. Likewise, ye wives. Likewise, ye wives. Be in subjection to your own husbands. What's that? Be in subjection to your own husbands. What's that? Subject, uh, be in subjection to your own husband. So you've got to be in subjection to your own husband. Read. That if any obey not the word. If you don't obey your own husband. Read. They also may without the word be won by the conversation of the Lord. Well, the other women are going to start to be shit, don't you? Well, the other wives will start to be shit about each other. Read. Read that one more time. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. See, you're going to lose your conversation with other woman, and it's going to—it's—it's it's creating. Um, this is how women don't like kicking all her other woman. It's because we've all been. It starts from not loving your own husband. Once you stop loving, you know, you gotta, that's who you serve, that's who you serve, the man's. You can both both of your life, life. That's right. Those are his seeds. Do you know that's us? Those seeds were in his nuts first. He gave you his seed. That's right. So that's his seed. And what they've done is take out a man's money away. He has the power over his seed. He put it on that earth. He, you're the earth. He's the heaven. He put a seed down onto the earth to bring forth life. For the heaven. For the earth. For you, sis. These are your gifts. He's giving you life. It's from him. That's the love. Which he's doing seed. Because everyone thinks it's about what we see with our eyes. It's the white man. The white man likes to look. The white man wants us to shave like little girls, little boys. The old white man likes his little girls and little boys, and the old white woman's like the younger men. And then now they're trying to do that to our woman. Now, now our men are men. A woman meant to look at us at her man. That's God. You that? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Me? Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. What's that? Wives. Submit yourself unto your own husband. You have to submit yourself. If you want to be a righteous woman, start off by submitting yourself to your own husband. The most high, the most high, the most high. This is how he makes marriage. This is better than paperwork. Paperwork. Your seed is proof of the agreement of marriage. And what did the most high say you have to do? Submit yourselves unto your own husbands. No, as a man. He's the man. And, he, and, and it'll change. Watch the change. Read. For the husband is the head of the wife. That's right. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Read. And he is the savior of the body. See how, how uh, we're getting all this knowledge from our Christ, our Hawaii, our Hawa, is giving us and is saving us from this fucking oppression. The praise the same. He's your savior. He can save you out of what's going down. He can lift you up if you give, let him ride the horse, take the steering wheel. The brave. Remember, he hasn't been taught better. We're not come from universities. We come from the dumb schools. I come from Northern College. It's the lowest dissol school in the country. Chapter 5, verse 25. Uh, 24. Therefore is the church is subject unto Christ. Just like how me and my homies, we, we subject to the skull. Read. 
So let the wives be to their own husbands and everything. And everything. See how we out here, we can, we can come out for the most high power. We're loyal as fuck to them. That's how the wives are meant to be their husbands, to their husbands. That's right. Every day, week in and week out, endure to the end. It's a war. They've already made it hard for you at the start. The prayer can't get a mean job, just like that. They want us to go for a three-year course. Shit, we're Māori, we can learn by just looking, practicing it, and then we keep practicing and we become the best at it. We learn by experience. But they want us to go to school and then get experience. That's six years of our lives. We ain't play like that, we're not that dumb. But they're white kids, very there in the best jobs and all that. Because it's a white world, white privilege. Yeah. Keep reading, brother. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, love your wives, my bro. Aroha your ma. That's who you love. Read. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave right. himself for it. That's all we gotta do. We put our life on the line for them. And that's, they already, they already know we will. But we don't know how to do it better now. This is how we do it. We go and wake up our people. Get together. We can chip in together. The brain ain't shit, we'll chip in, get the brain shit. I know how it works, I know how uh, the money goes. But if we get together, group up, like how the church does it, the church can keep all that money when that money should be caught out to all the teams that need it. And that's why I'm conquering every church. I'm taking my, my jawbone back. So all that millions of dollars those churches get comes to use. Where it belongs according to the law. That's right. According to the law, the, the money means to go to the, to the children of Maui. The children of Maui are the true ones who meant to get the money. They sit on the pipe pipe. That's where the Pope, the P-O-P-E, pretending to sit. He's sitting on your throne. He's collecting your money. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1, we'll see if our tupuna didn't. We'll see what our tupuna's got to do with this. Bible, let's read. 21. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1, read. These be the words which Maui spake unto all Ikaro. These be the what? These be the words which Maui spake unto all Ikaro. So these words, every single word in this Bible, is the words that Maui spoke unto all Ikaro. So Maui wrote it. This is Read that one more time, because she's going to answer. Do the run, we check the one, verse one. She's got the answer. This is the answer, sis. This is what Māori's got to do with the Bible. Read. These be the words which Māori speak unto all Ikaro. So these words are only getting spoken to all Ikaro, and someone stole it off us, our jawbone. Let's go to Isaiah 41, verse what? Can I? Um, can I go to Isaiah 41, verse 15. So these words, sis, was written in this language first. Yeah, spoken from who? No, the Bible was spoken from who? Let's see, let, she might need a hair. Did, did you know who was speaking for them? Who? Uh, read Deuteronomy 1 verse 1 again, brothers. You might need to hear it five times. Where did they come from? We're going to read it. 
We'll see where it comes from. Yeah, three three languages. Three languages. Three languages. Yeah. When you're listening to see you read it, we're gonna yeah, see you read it in scripture. To the one we chapter one, verse one. These be the words the, which Maui speak. Um, these be the words which Maui speak. Come on, sis. It's written. Did Maui give fire unto man? No, can I ask you a question? Did Maui give fire unto man? Yeah. Did Maui get fire unto man? So what's fire, sis? Hey. Fire means Let's read the fire one more time for her because she needs to hear it five times. We've read it four times. This one more time she'll do it, my sister. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Maui speak unto all Ikaroth. This is writing, my brother. Okay? Maui. Maui. Now let's get uh, Isaiah 41 on this one. Uh, can you get Proverbs 9 verse 13, brother? Isaiah chapter 41 verse. Hold it there, hold it there. Okay, brother. This is book of Proverbs, verse 9 verse 13. Uh, chapter, uh, chapter 9 verse 13. Hey, this is a foolish woman is clamorous. A foolish woman is clever. She talks a lot. She doesn't listen. Read. <laughs> she is simple and knoweth nothing. She's simple and knoweth nothing. <laughs> Read it one more time. A foolish woman is clever. She's clever. She's gonna learn how to stop talking, sis. Just listen. It's best not to talk. You can't listen when you're talking, sis. Read it. Read it. She is simple and knoweth nothing. She is what? She is simple and knoweth nothing. She is what? She is simple and knoweth nothing. That's simple, Lord. This woman is foolish and clever. She didn't even hear it. Even the prayer I hear because he is a God. My friend, you heard it. The words are from Maui. Now let's get it. Let's give him some milk to prove it. It's Maui some more. Isaiah 41 verse 1. Book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 1. You get, um, Keep silence 41. before me, O islands. Oh, what? The, keep silence before me, O oh, islands. So the most high is talking to the oh, islands. Let's go see what islands. Go to verse 9. Who lives on the islands anyway, bro? Book of Isaiah, chapter 41, <laughs> verse 9. Now, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Now he's talking to the islands at the end of the earth, my bro. <laughs> they called thee from the chief men thereof. Now he called the white man. They called thee from the chief men thereof. Now, now he called the white man. And he called thee from the chief men thereof. Now he called your daddies and your uncles and your brothers and your sons and your nephews. Ask the mighty men of your house. Read. And said unto thee. And he said unto us. Thou art my servant. We are the servants of the most high power. Read. I have chosen thee. He's chosen us. And not cast thee away. No one's cast us away. This is our Bible. The white man stole it, the monkey. This is mine. This is mine. Let's go to verse 15, my brother. This is Isaiah 41, Judges chapter 41, verse 15. Oh, I will make thee a new. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. So the most high seed is going to make us a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Read. Thou shalt thresh. The word. Judges chapter 15, verse 15. Read. And he found a new jawbone. And he found the what? And he found a new jawbone. And he found the what? And he found a new jawbone. So Maui had a jawbone, my bro. Doesn't that uh, seal it? Do you understand that, my brother? You had a jawbone. Read it again. Judges chapter 15, verse 15. And he found a new jawbone of an ass. Of an ass. Of an evil. The good. Hey, the God Eo. That's the God, uh, our jawbone. They don't even know that this is Eo. Here it is. Yeah. So let's go tell them what the Bible says about the white man then. Let's go to Romans 9, verse 13. Just 
say you know about how the Bible, what the Bible says about the white man. Drop of water that falls out of a big bucket of water, you don't care about that. That's how he feels about the other people, my bro. Read. And now, and now, oh Lord, are you a holler, a wicked? Look what's happened to us. Read. Behold, behold, these heathens, these damn heathens, these other nations, read, which have ever been reputed, uh, reputed as nothing. We looked at them as nothing. Our ancestors looked at these other nations as nothing. Read. Have begun to be lord over us. Have begun to be what? Have begun to be lord over us. They're fucking lords over us now. Read. And to devour us. They're devouring us. Read. But we thy people. But we thy people. Hawaii. Read. Whom thou hast called. Thou art firstborn. Nah, Jesus is the firstborn. Read it again. But we thy people. But we thy people. Who thou hast called thy firstborn. We're the firstborn of the most high power. Oh wow. Oh, I can know you're waking all away from my mouth. Read. But only begotten. We're the only begotten who come out of Hawaii. Read. And thy fervent, uh, fervent. Oh, and thy fervent lover. We're the fervent lover of the most high power. Read. I'll give it into their hands. We're giving it to their hands, my verse. Read. If the world now be made for our sakes. This world was made for our sakes. Why do we not possess and inherit with the world? We don't possess nothing with this world that's ours already. Read. How long shall this endure? How long is this going to endure? Read that. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Read. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Ikara. So the most high power is in the midst of Ikara. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. He's your God. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. And none else. All these people stole our God. They can worship the sun. They can worship the moon. They can worship Tamara and all Tafri Matera and all them. But leave our God alone. That's ours. We from what? That's us. And they've stolen our kupu. They've stolen our fire. 
they stolen their money and put us into the gutter That's and right. they made the strugglers really hurt. They 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 the break forgot he's equal at all. They for, we forgot about Maui. Yeah. So that's why we out here tell everybody to fucking hits the soul. These cunts. Look what they've done to us. Look at your lives, but just look at each other's lives, what's happened to you. It's their fault. It's not yours. Their that's first right. goal is make you hate the man. Their first goal is to make him not have any any leeway in this world. He has to start pushed up against the wall. That's where we come from. And that's why we cling on to our woman, because she's our savior. Someone to share the shit as well. The verse I said, love not the world. Don't love this punk ass world. It doesn't love you. The world you do, love and love is the world we can create with each other. Love that world. With his kawal, we act like a princess again. We act like a goddess again. The bird acts like a god again. We, are, we don't have to act like butt pussies like all these churches do. That's why they act like faggots, all these churches. And so us high hearty men don't want to go there. Because we, we don't want to go and become faggots. Hell no, we don't want to become pussy niggas. Hell no. We don't want to have to um, tame ourselves for them to be accepted by this damn world. We have to cha change and tame ourselves. Hell no. I want to speak like a man. I want to see my bros and yell up to them. I don't want everyone just because they're scared of that. How I dress, make them scared, and then they don't feel comfortable with us being around, so they push us to the curb. Because they don't like us, because we're real men of the Lord. We're the ones who go to war for you. We're the first ones who'll go to war for you if it comes to the crunch. That's the real truth. It's hard for us to kill each other, but when it comes to the crunch against any other nasty bastards, we're fucking frontline. We're the, we all want to go first. It's in our spirit, it's in our DNA, because this is who we are. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. This is who you are, brother. This is who you are, sis. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read. For thou art a... Oh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord. You're holy unto the Lord, to the Creator Himself. He separated you just like how the world separated you. Well, He put you apart too. Read. Thy God, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee. What? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. What? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Most High Power chosen thee. Read. To be a special people unto Himself. This is the fire we have in ourselves. That's special. This war we have, this love we got, this hate we got, this anger, it's 100% real. It's not right. We don't make our shit up. We don't copy other people. We actually ourselves. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What's that? Above all people that are on the face of the earth. Uh, what's that? Above all people that are on the face of the earth. Oh, your man is above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Thus saith the Lord. It's written down for everybody in the whole planet to know this. That we are the holy people. We are the chosen ones. We are the ones from the island of Ikoroa. We are Ikoroa. We are Maui. We're King David and all of them. That was Christ who put his life on the line for you. This fellow right here is Christ who put his life on, his life on the line for you. For us to run away to get to New Zealand. Thanks to us, we're not in America being slaves. That's right. Thanks to your man, we're not in America being slaves. You better thank us. Got you out of captivity. It was us. We hoid the waka. All praise to the most high power. Read that one more time, my brother. Because this is real talk. We don't play no games. We're the men of the Lord. We want our men to be the men of the Lord too. Know their Hawaii Nui. Know their Hawaii Roa. Know their Hawaii Pa Ma Ma. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art our holy people unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord Hawa. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He chose us to be special unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read. 
The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than Wait. any people. Sis, these fuck all of us men like us. All the rest of the men in the world are plastic. Little sheep, they follow the leader. Computer, the, the tongue cunts. We're the only ones who want to be free. Read. For ye were the fewest of all people. With the what? For ye were the fewest of all people. We're the fewest of all people until this very day. Look in New Zealand, look at the Maoris. We're the fewest. It's called we we play games like spot the Maori when we go to different towns in our own in our own house. We're the fewest. There's more everyone than us. Read that one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 7 The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people for you were the fewest of all people but because the Lord loved you He loves us and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers The oath that he made with Maui That oath and that promise that he swore to Maui still, still is in effect unto this day Read that my brother this is Romans oh, chapter man. 9 verse 8. That is which are they which that is they which are the children of the flesh. These other people, they're the children of the flesh. Read. These are not the feet of children of God. What? These are not the children of God. What? These are not the children of God. He's the children of God. You're the children of God, but all these other people. A what? These are but the children of the promise are counted. Can I read it again? That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Those people of the flesh is the other nations. Read. These are not the children of God. They're not the children of God. He is. You are. Read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Through the seed. Comes through the seed of who? Let's go to um, verse 7. No, no, verse 7. 7. Verse 7. This is Roman 9. Oh, Roman chapter 9, verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Just because they come from the same ancestor as one of our ancestors, Abraham, read. Are they all children? They're not the children just because they come from one of our two. But well, through who? Read. But in Isaac. But who? But in Isaac. Through Iaka. Through Kupe. Read. Shall thy seed be called? That's where it comes from. From us. Everyone else who don't come from them ain't the children of God. They copycats. That's why it's, the word is called copycat. You're copying the lions. We're the lion. We are. That's why we get so angry and emotional. Because we're the real lions, we're not fake. No fake shit about our people. We're trying to become like them, that's making us fake. Ah, let's keep the call. Let's get uh, numbers 15, 38. We'll start with the basic color. We gave you a couple of colors, you. Gotta love him like he's the Lord. That's the truth, thus saith the most high. And that's how you help your family and help your nation. If you wanna have, cause you don't wanna be five years in the future and, they, and you're single solo, don't know. Kids uh, don't know. Hey, it's time for you to sacrifice yourself for your seed. Cause these are the Tamariki Mamis, the gods, the king of the kings. I'm a king, the brother's a king, and he's a god, but he serves his children. That's who we serve. The king on the checker, when you play chess, the king, the chess piece is the child. That's who the whole board's protecting is the children. The king is actually the children. So we're going to give you that fire to make you want to step up, not quit. It's easy when you team up. Just team up. First and foremost, you've got to learn how to kick it again. Like how, like when you go with a stranger, you gotta learn how to know who the fuck are they. Now you start again. Start again. He's already got seeds to protect. 
You want them with the you want them with the straight edge knowledge to make make them know who they are. You, without even they don't have to get rid of this shit. They don't have to go to school. Yeah, they are already educated and and knowing who they are, grounded. Read. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. This is why our tippin is war these. Speak unto the children of Ikaro and put them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. So every time you have a child means you've got to have fringes on. My brother, that's a kawa our tippin is died for to keep these on. Our pupu. It's a kawa, it's, this is a law. So, so we know we're really, we're actually writing to, we're showing the world that we're the gods. And we do this shit. We ain't no talk about it and wait for no fucking white boy come out of the sky and save me. Hell no. That's my god, that's my god, that's my god. Yeah, and to make my god stronger as our woman, use our, our ribs. Protect the heart. If you can protect your heart, every, the body's safe. That's right. Who protects the man's heart? Mm -hmm. That's right. So you protect it. It's your fault. Did you know that? When the man's heart changes, it's because the woman didn't protect it. You gotta protect it. Hold that foot. Hold the foot. Whoa. Mother is one job. Rib is the other. There's a birth rights. So you gotta be the man's rib and change his heart. We used to be like this ugly old cuts, but thousands of years ago, our men were, were nice men. We take mine, 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 mine. And then you changed our heart and gave, made us change our looks, made us change our appearance. Everything a man does is for a woman. Did you, did you know that? Everything a man does is for a damn woman. So yeah, you just understand your problem. Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Ikaro and bid them that they make their fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, and it shall be unto you for a fringe. What? And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So these fringes is to make us, this is why our ancestors held on to it, to make us stand for our, who we are. Never forget. Read. And this shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. But these commandments make us live. These laws, like what I just told you, these are the commandments, these are laws. Us coming out here to wake up the prayers, wake you up, tell you what's right. I'm not going to try and be nice to you, my G. Now I'm going to tell you the truth. When I'm standing as a man of the Lord, I'm the man of the Lord. I'm going to take away my weak human nature. Talk is a man of the Lord. Any more Nick? Yep. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it. Look at it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. And do it. And that ye seek not after your own hearts. Don't think, they, they, stop, they, they, stop thinking you know. We don't, we come from the gutter, we don't know. Everyone in heaven knows, we don't. We, and then you seek not after your own heart, after your own eyes. Yeah, stop trying to do what we want to do. Let's do what the a God thing. Let's do let's do some other half ones, read. After which you use to go a hori. Because that makes us go a hori. And ye may remember and do all my commandments. Do them all. And be holy unto your God. Be holy. I am the Lord thy God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. This is why how we get out of the land of captivity, out of the land of the gutter. It's by this way. Now we're going to go to um, Daniel 7 verse 18. This one needs to be read. Got it? 7 18. This is, this, is, this is what we should be, this will be the dream. This is what all us people should be dreaming for. Read. This is Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Shall what? But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. And what? 
and possess the kingdom forever. That's what we should be striving for. It's taking the damn throne off the head and we become, we become the kings of the earth. We, we make the law. That's how, what we should be striving for. And if you want that, then first and foremost, if you want to be ruling this earth and be in heaven for your children to be privileged in the in a, in a Ikaroa privileged world, that's what we want. Hey, where it's no struggle is real. No more struggle is real. If you want that to happen, first and foremost, love your husband as, as, as if he's the Lord. And then he'll act right, he will. He will. That's right. It's a natural agreement. We love women loving us. We hate women hating us. It's just natural. We're going to tell you the truth. We love women loving us and we hate women hating us. So this is what us men, this is what we, this is what's in our mind. We want to read it again, brother. This is all we fight for. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. We the saints. And we're going to take this kingdom. And possess the kingdom forever. Forever. Even forever and ever. Uh, Isaiah 14 verse 1. Even forever and ever, sis. Hey. You want your children and your children's children and your children's children's children to be in privileged world forever and ever. You want to you wanna leave a mark on this earth. You want to make sure your children sing songs about you. You don't want to be like the white people and have no ancestry, no culture, no heritage. Now we all robots. But we got culture, heritage, flavor. We got the flavor, flavor of this world. We give everything flavor. 14 and 1. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1 For well, the Lord will have mercy on Kupe The Lord's gonna have mercy on Kupe Read And will yet choose Ikaroa So the Messiah always will choose Ikaroa us Read and he's The Messiah is always looking at him first He doesn't look at our woman first He looks at him first So the Messiah chose him before he chose you That's the truth sis Read And set them in their own land Read and the strangers shall be joined with them. The, these damn strangers are going to be joined with us. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Kupe. They're going to cleave to us because they're going to know that he's the... They're going to, they're going to cleave to us. They're going to go, oh, please tell us about the Lord. Because we're the true children of the Most High. Read. And the people shall take them. We're going to take these people. We're going to take them. Read. And bring them to their place. We're going to put them in their place where they belong. Down and down. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess read it proper and the house of Ikaro read shall possess them or well, possessing them that means ownership read and the land of the Lord for servants what and the land of the Lord right here for servants what for servants gonna be your servants this is what we want them to be your servants read and handmaids and handmaids that's what you want this and they shall take them captives we're gonna take these people captives whose captives they were we were their captives and they shall rule over their oppressors. We're gonna rule over our what? And they shall rule over their oppressors. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna rule over our oppressors. Read. And it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall give thee rest that from day, thy sorrow. That day is when our men can rest. That day is when the war's over for our men. That day is when no one's oppressing our men no more. Understand? So every day your man is getting oppressed from some devil in the background, ruling this world. Job 927. Read that one time. 14 verse 2. And the people shall take them. And we're gonna take them, my friend. This is what we gotta do. Fucking one minute to take these cows. And bring them to their place. And then their place by just telling them this is ours. Read. And the house of Ikaro shall possess them in the land of the Lord yeah. for servants and handmaids. What? For servants and handmaids. That's what I'm driving for. I want me some servants and handmaids. Let's give all praises and honor and glory to the most high power. That's right. Fuck me. I want that to happen. I'm tired of this oppression. I want to rest. Read. And they shall take them as captives. You know what? And they shall take them as captives. We're going to take them as captives. Whose captives they were? Because we were their captives. Right now, 
we're there kicking. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're gonna do what? And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's what we're gonna do. Read, let's see who it is. Malachi 1 verse 4. This is Job chapter 9 verse 24. Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What's that? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What's that? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The damn wicked fools of greed. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He did what? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges. That means pushed us up against the wall. We're the judges. We're Hawaii. We're Christ. Pushed us up against the wall and covered our face. Put us in the hood. That's why it's called a hood. Hey, my friend. Understand me? It's our language, my brother. Street talk. Read. If not where and who is he? So if it ain't the white man, who else is it? Who else is it eh? Is it the China man? Is it the Hindu? Which one is it? The Messiah said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Let's go see who the wicked is. Read that. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Read. Whereas Edom saith, eh? Whereas Edom saith. Edom is the name that the Maui called the white man. Read. We are impoverished. They were impoverished once upon a time. Read. But we'll return and build the desolate places. Read. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord. Read. They shall build, but I will throw down. See, what's that? All the shit they build, what? I shall throw down. The most is going to throw it down. Read. And they shall call them the borders of wickedness. What are we going to call the white man? The borders of wickedness. What are we going to call them? The borders of wickedness. What are we going to call the white man? The Pākehā. What are we going to call them? The borders of wickedness. The borders of wickedness. Do you understand? The earth was given to the hand of the wicked. And the white man is called the border of wickedness, meaning if you want to see evil and wickedness, he's the man to show you how to be evil and wicked. The white man is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's why it says I hate him. Let's go see if we can know what kind of the devil will say. Read. Hey. Hey, brother. Let's go see what the white man is. Genesis 25 verse 25. Because he's wanting to know your enemy, my G. The true one. There's red, hairy devils, my G. This is Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter 25, verse 24. And the first came out red. What? And the first came out red. And what? And the first came out red. Now the first baby came out red, read. All over like a hairy garment. What? All over like a hairy garment. And then what? And what? they called him Esau. Get her. When they saw him coming, they went, ah, get her. The first ever white man of the Bible is Esau. And then who came after Esau, read? And after that came his brother out. Then the wheat come out, my brother, read. And his hand took, up, took hold on Esau's heel. So we're going to trip this cunt up, read. And his name was called Cooper. His name's called what? And Cooper. his name was called Cooper. And his name's called what? And his name, name was, was called Cooper. My brother, our job is to go and trip those damn nasty red skin devils, our ancestors' twin brother. That's why we look a little like them. <laughs> We've always been warring with these red devils since the beginning of time. Since we came out to take it. Right. But let's tell the brain. Let's go to 23, brother. Verse 23. We're going to tell them their law that they mean to keep read. This is Gen uh, Genesis chapter 24, verse 23. And the Lord said to unto oh, and the Lord said unto her. So the Lord, this is the Lord said unto her, this is the deal. Read. Two nations are in the womb. Two nations are in your womb, girl. Read. And two men or all people shall be separated by thy wealth. So two different people, totally different human species. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And you know Cooper is the strongest. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the what? And the elder shall serve the younger. And the what? And, and the, the elder, elder shall serve, serve the younger. younger. So that's the deal. The elder shall serve the younger. One race will be superior than the other. 
It's the deal. That's the, the, the unique, divine creation. It's deal. This is how it is. You can't change it. So the deal is that the older brother must serve the younger brother. Keep reading. This is the older brother. This is Gen uh, Genesis 20, uh, chapter 24, verse 24. 25. Oh, 24. And the first came out right. So the first one came out the Pākehā. So they meant to serve us, my brood. Understand? According to the law. They, according to the law, they're not allowed to judge you because according to the law, you're meant to judge them because for the wickedness that they've done wrong to you. Isaiah 41 verse, uh, 14 verse 21. Um, so according to the law, that's in the courthouse. Them Edomites, them Esau, them Pākehās are meant to be serving you, my brother. That's why you see it on the coat of arms, the Māori and the Queen. You, see, you know this? The Māori's got his elbow on the table, my brother. Like that. And the Queen's got her hand on the book, too, on the Bible. You know what that means, brother? She's making a vow, bro, to us. But we're doing the way the dealer. We're the one, if you want to know my God, my Father, if they want to know your God, my brother, they have to go for you. And then you look on the Maori side, there's two, there's a, there's a lamb on it. A dead lamb hanging. That's you, brother, the Christ. We're the lamb who put our life on the life for everybody on this damn planet. We fight everyone's wars. For everyone. But now it's time to fight for our, ourselves and our home. First and foremost, home. That's right. Home. And he's the king of the home. And he's got no men to support. If he's got men to support, they should be supporting him, brother. Yeah. We'll be those men if you need those men to support. But a lot of Gs don't want to get down with us. Not yet. But the Gs know what we're up to. So we're going to let the Gs know what we're up to. But we're still going to tell the Gs the same thing. Get your houses in order first. Yeah, that's right. Start intimidating the enemies, not each other. Let's make them feel uncomfortable to walk the streets. That's right. White people can walk around in the Alpha Fuck, they're safe. they safe. Walk around with fat, you know, walk around drunk and shit, and we won't beat them up. But we'll see one of our own, we'll go beat them up. It's a fucked up move. I know that I correct my chin cheek myself. That's why I, that's why I ripped the most high heart and gave me the mean chin cheek. Told me, he told me to love my brother. Yeah. That's why the men rip. Love the tribesmen. We are the tribesmen. This is the 12 tribes of Ikaro. Did you know that? Let's get it out of Revelation 7 verse 2. Bro, we're the tribesmen, bro. It's written in the Bible. The Bible, the Bible just said, fuck the world. Love not the world. Did you, you hear it? Hey, Baba. Bro, what does that mean, Baba? Flip the bird at who? At who? Hey, my brain, why is it skull fingers, my brain? Because we come from the dead, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's where we start from. From the dead, my brain. No one gave us anything. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, ruin our fucking lives, dude. Read. Revelation chapter 7, verse 3. Read. Saying, hurt not the earth. So our God ain't gonna hurt the earth. Neither the seas. He's not gonna hurt the seas like how we destroyed Egypt. Nor the trees. Nor the trees. He's not gonna destroy this damn forsaken world. Until when? Until we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So until these are, uh, we've sealed the most high, we need a uh, Tamukud men, read. And I heard the number of them, so which is, were sealed. This is how much Tamukud men we need, read. And they were sealed, and hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Read it properly. And they were sealed, a hundred and forty-four thousand. Of all the tribes of the children of Ikoro. All the tribes of the children of Ikoro are going to produce 144,000 men bro, like us to go and fight against the oppressor. That's and right. That's enough. And when, when we see when we've made 144,000 men commit to the Most High Power and put his Tamuko on again and wear his people again, then he'll destroy, this, he'll destroy everyone for us. Just like what Maui did. How Maui conquered Tamatera. That's right. Maui cut a kid to something. And then the cut a kid happened. And that's the power of us. We got the power of the creator behind us. We caught a variant 
We're glitching this matrix. We can change things. Everyone else is bots. But we got the free will thinking. We're the character, the main characters of this theater. Under the great altar of Aotearoa, my bro. It's a, it's a theater, it's all a shade. All these people around the world are actually watching us like a damn movie, bro. It's what's going on. We don't know what's going on on the outside world, for real, for real. Everything's just a show to deceive you. But it's to see if, this, if we're, we're actually going to fulfill prophecies. And yeah, we are. We're going right. to fulfill prophecies. Uh, get the book of Jeremiah. Did I have one? Right? Okay. So this is what we are here doing. Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. 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 Wait. Who Chapter 28, verse 8. Read. The prophets that have been before me. So the prophets that have been before us, our Tupuna, who was before us, what did our Tupuna do? Read. And before the of old prophesied both against many countries. So this is what our ancestors did. They prophesied against what? Many countries. Many countries. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Of war. Of war. And of evil. And of evil. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. The prophet was prophet. Prophet is not dead. Do you understand that? that? That's what our ancestors did. They didn't get the Bible and start making churches up and all this and shit like the rest of the fake ass prophets do. What did they do when they took hold of the jawbone? Read. The prophets that have been before me, before us, the, and before thee of old, yeah. prophesied both against many countries. This is what we're doing, and against great kingdoms. Yeah, of war, of war, and of evil, and of evil, and of pestilence. Stop right there, pestilence is like COVID. We're fighting against it all. That's who. That's who we're fighting against. And we're here to prophesize the downfall to this fucking nation. To the most I call you, I want to work in all your work in all, I want to my mouth. See, oh wow, man. So, yeah, we can um, tell you all the truths and everything through this. We'll go to Romans 9 and 4. You want to get it? Because this is ours and ours only. Let's start at Romans 9 and 3. Oh no, look, let's go to one. Well, this is because I need you to learn this, is my brother. Verse one and one. Oh, yeah. nine and one. This is Romans chapter nine, verse one. I say the truth in Christ. So this is the, what all the churches, they always like running to this fellow named Paul and saying that Paul said, Israel, us Ikaroa have been kicked out and then that everyone else is allowed in. This is what the churches teach you. That us, the children of the Most High have been booted out. Where's Satan who got booted out of their kingdom? Now there's Satan who got booted out of their kingdom. Satan ain't a magical thing, it's a people. Satan means your enemy, your adversary. Right. Read that. I say the truth on Christ. Read. I lie not. So Paul's not lying right now. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness. Read. This is his uh, kites. He's in jail, G. He's writing us letters from prison, my brother. He's telling us he's not lying, my brothers, listen to this. Read. I lie not. My conscience also bury me with witness in the Holy Ghost. So he's, he bears the witness of the truth in the, in the cover. Read. That I have great 
Here we go. And continue. Sora, oh my heart. See, our, our men were sore all the time. Inside, we always saw, read. For I could wish that myself were a, a curse. From Christ. So he wished that he went through what Christ went through, so he doesn't have to live through this damn this wicked ass world. Read. For my brethren. For my brethren, read. You, my kinsmen. My kinsmen, my friends, right there. According to the flesh. According to the flesh, my brethren. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Ikara. Read. The who pertaineth the adoption. What's that? The who pertaineth the adoption. The adoption belongs to Ikara and Ikara only. Read. And the glory. The glory of the Messiah belongs to the bird and the bird only. Read. And the covenant. And the kawanatanga, the deal that we got with the Messiah only belongs to us. Read. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Read that one more. You don't like it? And the giving of the law. And the what? And the giving, giving of, of the law. law. And the giving of the law is meant to be from us. Read. And the service of God. We are the true services of the Most High Power. If they want to know what God is, they're going to come through us. Read. And the promises. All the promises that are in the Bible to the children of Ikaroa is for us and us only. Read. Who's are the fathers? Who? Who's are the fathers? And of who? As concerning the flesh, Christ came. So that's who Christ came. Only for you. He didn't come for the ones who killed him. This is 1st Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48 And laid open oh. And laid open the book of the law So these damn enemies that laid open our book They got our book, this is when they got it And what did they do? Read Wherein the, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images What's that? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So when they got the hold of our Bible, the first thing they did is made the book look like them. They made Maui white. They made uh, Yahweh white. They made Hawaii white boy. It made, changed his name to Jesus. They changed his name to Moses. They changed all our two the names. And laid open the book of the law. They laid open the book of the law. This is the book of the law. Not the damn courthouse and their laws. This is the law right here. Read. We're in the heathen and sought to paint the likeness of their images. The heathen sought to paint the, paint the likeness of their images. Let's go to second Ezra's. As men of the Lord. This is the second Idris. Oh, Idris. Chapter 13, verse 14. Thou hast shoot thy servant these. Thou hast shoot thy no, no, servant. No, no. Second Idris 14, 14. <coughs> Second Idris, chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. What's that? Let go from the mortal thoughts. What's that? Let go from the mortal thoughts. Let go from the mortal thoughts, my brother. These mortal thoughts we have, 
got weaknesses there. They're called stumbling blocks. It's right, we get in our way and our fucking lives to thrive in this world to get better. It's mortal thought, so every time a mortal thought comes into your mind, cast it out. You know one more time? Let go from the mortal thought. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. What is it called? Let go from the mortal thought. Cast away the burdens of man. Cast it away. It's Put off burden. now the weak nature. A what? Put off now the weak nature. It's a weak nature. When you have negative thoughts, now you know you're a goddess. You gotta understand when you have a shit ass thought in your head, cast it out. Because it's just a waste of your time. Yeah, it is. It is. Negative thoughts are waste of our time. It's weak nature. So when you, you call yourself weak when you think like that, I do. Then check yourself. <laughs> Can you get first time a bit too? In your lip? Can you get too much more? Oh. This is first Timothy chapter two, verse five. Twelve. Not twelve. Oh. Verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What's that? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What's that? What? But I suffer not a woman to teach. So, the Messiah doesn't want any woman teaching his word. The Bible, the Kawa, is not for women to teach. They can teach their other things. Go teach their children. We'll tell you what to teach, but you can't teach the men how, how to be a man. You can't teach us men how to be men of the Lord. we we got to be taught by other men. That's right. No to assert authority over the man. What's that? No to assert the authority over the man. What's that? No to assert the authority over the man. So our women gotta stop that. They're the rib. They're not the head of the man, they're the rib of the man. Protect his heart and then that man should ride and die for you. He's your kurawai, he's your patu, he's your taiwa. On call, that's what you want, eh? Hey, on call. On sight, on call, on time. Do you read it, brother? But to be in silence. What? But to be in silence. So what you're doing, doing right now? All praises of the Most High Power. See that, brothers? This has got a wise woman. She hasn't spoken back. She's just being silent, learning, listening. It's called a righteous woman, she gets right. Do you know these women walking around? They're not righteous, Steve. They're a Fake-ass motherfuckers. Us will cut up people. We ain't fucking. We're trying. We try. We're trying to get out of the gutter. We're trying to do something better. We're trying. We're working our asses off hard to try. We're enduring this shit, but fuck, some days we want to give up. Some days we want to stop fighting. And that's why we have to separate. Go have a relax. Get back. Chill out. We just want to break. Have a separate break. We're gonna go for a break here, go down to the, come down to here, have a break. This is good, this is refreshing. And I want you to speak loud and proud. And let no other nationality tell you either either other way, because this is our eco. That's right. First and foremost, Maui didn't sell his eco. Maui has never sold his eco. His children have no right to sell what's his. That's right. But, this is how important you are. Kill every single Māori on earth, leave one alive. That one Māori has right to this whole eco. Hey, do you believe that? That's how, that's how you gotta understand that every one of us is important. Because if every one of us dies and there's one left, all of us, all will agree it's his. That's right. So we gotta understand who we are, how important we are to each other. And it's hard to change just in a day. Okay? One step at a time. Slowly but surely. I still got I got heaps of homies still in the game. Still in the game. But one step at a time they're trying to do to deliver to deliver all of us out of this motherfucker. 
It ain't no fun if the homies can't fucking get up with us. I don't want to. I don't want to be a millionaire alone. I want my brothers and my sisters to be with me. That's right. I don't want to walk through the streets anymore and see my people at the bottom. I hate it. I hate seeing this, and it's not their fault. I hate it. I hate seeing these argue. I, I hate seeing it because it's not your fault. But if they hate it, I love it because I want to use it on someone else. Yeah. They think uh, there's no hate in the scripts. What is it, Proverbs? Six. Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Say, so, this is how you fear the Lord, my friend. I'm gonna just bow down, shit. This is how you fear the Lord. This is if you want to fear our Father, this is how you really go up, my friend. Read. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. What? It's to hate evil. So when you see evil, brother, hate it. Read. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the furrowed mouth do I hate. I hate that shit, bro. People talk shit. Women wanna act up. That's why it makes us mad. Cause we hate that shit. It's already written in our spirit. Read it again. What men hate, what us godly men hate, read. Proverbs of the nine, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Us men hate evil. Pride and arrogancy. When we see pride and arrogancy, especially from the ones we're trying to love, we hate it. And the evil way, and the forward mouth do our hate. We hate that shit. We hate people doing that to us. That's why we argue back and want to fuck them up, Reggie. It makes us really want to fuck you up. It does. It makes us want to fuck you up because the Lord hates it too. The Lord hates it too. And he puts a spirit on us and we're like, fuck, she needs a chin check. And we, and we get cast out for being, we've been wrong. But the Lord hates that shit. And it's in our spirit. He right. made us to do that. He made us to hate what he hates. He made us to love what he loves. We're not like the, they're not the children of God. Children, we're the children of God, and we carry God's spirit. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, the evil way, and the forward mouth, and the forward mouth do I hate. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 15. Hate the evil! What? Hate the evil! Nah, nah, love everything. Hate the evil! Nah, nah, cut him, cut him, cut him. Hate the evil! Well, listen to the white man, he says, love everyone. Come together. Nah, what does the most I say? Hate the evil! Hate the evil. And love the good! And love the good. That's right. Read. And establish judgment in the gates. So we had established the judgment in the gates of who? It may be that the Lord. God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Of the remnant of who? Of the remnant of Joseph. Say, this is us of the house of Joseph. And the Lord be gracious unto us. See, that's the seed of um, one of those people who uh, conquered us. The Magids. That's why they're in the police and all this high places where we can't get. Because they carry the family of royalty and of um, oppression and of... Uh, they're the winners. They're the winners, my bro. Hey. So we gotta understand that these these winners, bro, who's rolling around knowing who they are, plus they've heard the story. And they know you, and they ain't gonna tell you shit. But they're gonna smile on your face and say, oh, come be my friend, join my gym. Yeah, so I can beat you up. Hey, 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 come join my gym so I can beat you up. And I'll smile at you and you know, give your give your girlfriend the eyebrows. That's how wicked these cunts are, bro. Uh. See, I ain't going to be friends with them. I know who my enemies are because I know fucker papa, fucker toki. Yeah, bro. And their fucker papa don't match ours. Their fucker papa matches the ones who won the war. Yeah. 
And then the ones rolling around on big boys. And then the ones who at my primary school being bullies and making us Modis be bad. They were showing us bad influence, bro. It was actually the Palang kids. And we thought they were Maori. Because we're loving people. We welcome everyone in our house. But the most I said, nah, nah, season changed. Let's go chin check them now. Let's go point at them. Let's go to um, Epitaya. Did I have you anything? Yep. Right, here you go. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 15. Drink waters out of thine own cistern. What? Drink waters out of thine own cistern. Cistern. Drink waters out of thine own cistern. So drink waters out of your own cistern, meaning from your own people, your own brothers and your own sisters, your own ones. Don't learn from these damn devils, they won't tell you the truth. Yeah. Watch out. So the Messiah made sure to drink water from your own puna. So learn, learn your Māori them first. Read, read it again. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 15. Drink waters out of thine own system. And running waters out of thine own well. That's what you drink, the waters that our tupuna left. You can't drink this until you've drunk off the Māori. If that's why everyone in the whole world's confounded and confused and don't know anything, they don't know shit. Mm. They just all pray and worship. They don't know nothing. See, I learned the ways of the Maori first, and then I learned this to kill it, and then I'll shit it's mine. Yeah. That's right. <coughs> Read that one more time. Proverbs chapter five, verse fifteen. Give me a time. Drink waters out of thine own system, and running waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. I'll go to that one. You know, um, so that, that point, that uh, precept right there was just to let you know is to learn your own shit first. Don't let these other people teach you no more. We should stop letting our children go to their schools, first and foremost. Yeah, it's over for that. We're going to set up our own schools. It's just over here. What you? Already, already. Does the sis come in to get some kai at the bottom? This is one of our kai tani for our tea. Mm. It's coming in, coming through, right? So we're going to get the vision of Opataya, Opataya, we left to use a vision too, read. The vision of Opataya, thus saith the Lord God concerning you, concerning who? Thus saith the, uh, saith the Lord God concerning Eden. Concerning Eden. So it's concerning the white man, the oppressors, read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. So with this rumor has gone around the world, read. And an ambassador is sent. Oh. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. So among the heathen, this is an ambassador representing them, telling us this news. What arise ye? Arise ye! And let us rise up. Uh, let us rise up against her in battle. So we all this rumors going around the world that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of and that the white man needs to be conquered and put into chains. And this rumor has been passed around the whole world. And uh, us Maoris has got this rumor last. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Negroes all over the world, and Europe, we're all waiting for the Maoris now to uh, roar, to bring out the, the jawbone, the final piece of the puzzle. So, let's go to verse uh, 10. So this is what, this is a vision of Obadiah concerning Edom. Eden means the red man. This is Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. For thy violence is against thy brother. What? For thy violence is against thy brother. For thy... Read it one more time. For thy violence. For thy violence against thy brother Cooper. Shame shall cover thee. So, for the violence they've done against Cooper, shame is going to cover them. Read it one more time. For thy violence against thy brother Kupe, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. How long are they going to be cut off? Thou shalt be cut off forever. So that's the prophecy and the vision that Obadiah had concerning Edom. 
<laughs> you keep reading? Rabbitah, chapter 1, verse 11. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives, captive his forces, and foreigners entered into the gate. Chapter 1, verse 11. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces yeah. and foreigners. Yeah. This is where the Edomites started taking everyone into slavery, read. Entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. They entered into our gates and cast lots, shit and problems against Jerusalem. Even thou wast one of them. Thou one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother. Yeah. And the day that he became a stranger. So this is what we gotta do, read. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced Keep reading. over the children of Judah. What? Neither should neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah. They shouldn't have rejoiced over the children of White Tower when they started killing all the White Tower Maori. In the day of their destruction. In the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. So these white damn devils speak proudly against us even when we were down and out they still speak proudly against us. So we're gonna we're gonna be preparing something for these people, we've been preparing for it for a while. And we've been preparing uh, around the four corners of Ngahu Read. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. We got the biggest army on the planet, read. Prepare slaughter for his children. What did the Messiah say that we have to prepare for? Prepare slaughter for his children. This is what we prepare for, read. For the iniquity of their fathers. For what their fathers done to our fathers, read. Right. That they do not rise. That they do not rise. Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. So the Messiah doesn't like the planet filled with cities. He wants us to get down with our net, natural down program. The city's uh, full of wickedness, confusion. Yeah. Read it one more time, brother. Prepare slaughter for his children. That's how ruthless we gotta be. For the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. That's right. So first and foremost, we gotta get right here in the household, and then, Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28. Let's go to the column. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. So it's going to come to pass, my G. If thou shalt. Hearken diligently. Read it proper. And it shall come to pass. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. No, no, verse, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse. No, no, read it again. Gee, when you stop uh, keeping these laws, this is what what's happens when we stop keeping it. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't want to keep the call, read. To observe. To do all his commandments. We don't want to keep this color that was given unto us and only us. Read. And the statutes which I command thee this day. If you don't want to be a God, my brother, this is what happens to us. Then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You curse, my brother. Let's tell you a curse. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What? Cursed shall thou be in the city. That's why your people at the bottom. In the city, scary city. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Field is the workplace, my friend. So even, even in the workplace, it's gonna be cursed. It's gonna be hard to get a job. It's gonna be hard to survive in the city. Struggle is real. Pretty much, struggle's gonna be real. We did. This is Proverbs.
number of chapter 29, verse 3. Four. Verse 4. They that forsake the Lord, praise the wicked. So if you don't want to keep the call, you're praising the wicked. But such as keep the law, contend with them. What? But, oh. but such as keep the law, contend with them. That's how you fight. That's right. That's how you fight, brother, just by keeping the call. These little commands, easy peasy. These ones I gave you today, that's enough. That's enough. And then when your house is in order, then the next level of commandments come. We won't throw them all at you to make it hard, to make it what you need. This commandment right now you need, this call you need right now. Just take what you need for now, for the present. My commandment is to go and cut their heads off, brother. It, it's a call. It's to bring a head home. We can't do that commandment right now. Yeah, so we can't do that. So I want to give all honor and glory. We're going to have a lunch break. Sorry, kids, we've been talking for a couple of hours non stop. The name is Brady. But this is how it is at the camp. Uh, we don't have no rest. We just we all punch on, punch, punch, punch. And then when it's time for a quick, quick little feed, we have a quick little feed and water. So, all praise to the most high power, your whole. Praise. to the most high. I want to thank the brothers and our two lovely wahini for today and getting this knowledge and wisdom. That's right. That's right. For praises to Yahweh. Ha! Yaha! This way! All oh, praises to the most high power, my brother. Me. So, that's all of us. to Kai Tanifa. We out of here. Man, I'm sick of all these silly thugs talking shit, roaming round selling drugs to the kids on the street, trying to pull some dollars quick. Don't give a shit to this some poor dead kid laying in the street. Poor kid couldn't breathe, can't take this shiv. What the fuck is this shit? It's all good, just trying to sell another brick, destroying the youth. You dumb fucking pricks, look at you. Hey, 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 h